you've ever been out with your DJI drone and it won't let you take off because you're in like a restricted area or something, yeah, that could be annoying, but it's actually an easy fix. So in this video, I'm going to explain the different types of restriction zones. Then I'm going to show you how to get an authorization document from a local airspace authority, how to do the unlock on site in a regular camera drone, as well as on the Avada 2 which will also be the same process for DJI FPV drone and the DJI Avada 1. Also, there'll be a document in the description with tips and the process. So there are a couple different types of restriction zones. There's altitude zones. They usually aren't that big of a deal. You can just unlock them on site in your drone. Another zone that you need to unlock is called an authorization zone. And these show up as uh, blue circles usually, or blue areas. And these can actually be unlocked on site right in the drone. You just have to confirm that you're allowed to fly there, click a couple check boxes, and you're good to go. However, if you find yourself in a red restricted zone, that doesn't mean you're not allowed to fly there. It just means that you need to have permission from local airspace authority, and then you need to do a custom unlock on DJI's website. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get a NAV drone authorization, and this is specific to Canada, so if you are not in Canada, please feel free to skip. So you have to go and create a new operation, find the place that you want to fly in the map, draw some sort of shape indicating where you want to fly, and you want to fill in all the information here. Now, depending on the grid squares where you're located, you will be allowed to fly at different heights. So you're going to want to input that or else you're going to have difficulty getting the authorization. And right now it's currently in draft form. You cannot receive authorization yet. Go to the tasks tab. You must publish your operation before you're able to submit that particular task for approval. You'll now be able to submit this particular request. You need to enter some information about your return to home procedures and how long it takes. The auto approval will happen fairly quickly. Now what you want to do is perhaps take a screenshot of the fact that you're allowed to fly. This will help you on the DJI side of things. By providing them that screenshot, they'll be able to verify that you're actually allowed. Alternatively, you can go to the tasks tab and click that button and download the PDF. So over here on the FlySafe site, and you're going to want to log in with your DJI account. What we're going to do is make sure that our drone is added to our profile. We're going to go ahead and click on new unlock request and we're going to go custom unlocking. And we're just going to fill out the information. We have to select our particular uh, drone. Add the fact that you're going to be a pilot for this. Then the map will show up. Um, you can input the address in that search bar, or you can just scroll to find where you need to go. What you need to do is draw the area of your operation. And as you can see, that falls both in a blue authorization zone as well as a red restricted zone. So you're going to put in your altitude and then you're going to just give them a quick write up, uh, usually saying you have authorization from whatever authority governs the airspace. And then at the bottom, you can just upload that file as proof. Once it uploads, you can go ahead and click submit. You'll notice the status will not say accepted. It'll just say waiting for a review or something. It usually takes about two or three minutes for it to be accepted. DJI already has some unlocking instructions for all their different types of aircraft. All you have to do is go to the view link beside the accepted and just copy and paste that link in to a new browser tab. Just select the specific app that you're using. As you can see, the PDF instructions are very detailed. You can just simply follow them, print them out or whatever. All right, maybe now's a good time to hit that like button if you're finding this video interesting. And also consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. As you can see here with the Air 2S, it won't even let you go into a restricted zone without the proper authorization. Here I am inside of a restricted zone trying to take off and it won't let me. To do the unlock, you just hit those three dots in the top right corner. 
Go to safety, scroll down to where you see unlock GeoZone. Next thing you go to aircraft unlocking licenses. Then you find the particular unlock and you just toggle it on with that button. You answer the questions, hit OK, go back. And now you're able to take off in the zone and fly into the zone. So you can see here, I'm inside the zone. I was able to take off and I'm able to fly around. So here I am with my Avada 2. I'm going to just unlock the authorization zone. And if it's the blue authorization zone, all you need to do is just unlock it while you're on site. So this message will come up, hit unlock. You agree to all those particular things, hit those check boxes, hit OK. And that's pretty much it. So the blue authorization zones, you can just unlock while you're there on the site. However, uh, this site is close to a restricted zone. So if you're flying the Avada 2, it will not let you enter into the restricted zone. And also if you're flying in manual mode, it will kick you out of manual mode back into normal and prevent you from entering into the restricted zone. In order to do the unlock with the Avada 2, the Avada, or the FPV, you need to connect your goggles to your cell phone with a cable. Open the DJI Fly app. Then you go to your profile, go to settings, scroll down to where it says unlock GeoZone, go to aircraft unlocking licenses, and then flip that switch and agree to all those things. Go back, and then go back to fly. At this point, you can fly into restricted zones, take off from restricted zones, and you're good to go. So as you can see, with a little bit of planning, this slightly tedious process is actually simple and can get done fairly quickly. Hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for hanging out. Take care.